Okay, quiet on set, please. Mommy's getting ready to film. Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sutnuski. Thank you so much for popping back in the channel. And thank you so much for all the compliments I've been getting lately about the new lower thirds and that opening screen that I've been doing. But I have to be honest with you. That didn't come out of the imagination and brilliance of my own mind. I stole those ideas. Mm-hmm. In particular, the lower thirds I stole from Josh Haynes' channel. If you guys don't know him, check him out. He's really awesome. He's funny. He's smart. He does great tutorials on gear and lighting. And he also does editing software tutorials. But he uses DaVinci Resolve. So I watch a lot of YouTube. And whenever I see something that looks really cool, I screen record it. And when I saw his lower thirds, I screen recorded it. And I said, let me see if I can get this to work in LumaFusion. You know, all you need is a little bit of ambition, a little bit of know-how and elbow grease. And there's really nothing that you can't achieve in LumaFusion. So let's go ahead, jump right on into this lower thirds tutorial. Stolen from Josh Haynes. Mm -hmm. Here's the lower thirds we're going to be building today. Now I built this on a white background. This way if I want to ever export it as its own little movie clip onto another iOS device in LumaFusion, all we'd have to do is use the blending modes and do some cropping to get this to work. This is what it's going to look like while we're building it today. But like I said, if you keep it as an asset at the very beginning, let me go ahead and pull down a video. This way I can show you. We'll use Marv. Whenever I keep my assets, I always make sure to cut them. On the same line, I hit the scissor, everything is nice and organized. This way, when I want to move them, it's very easy to just line them up. If you have them cut all over the place, then, you know, it's, it's a little more difficult to organize them and get them to fall just right. Okay, so here is what it really looks like. Instead of being a gray box, it's more of a black translucent box, which I think is really cool. And when you import it as its own little movie, all you'd have to do is crop out the white and this is what it's going to look like. And that's what it's going to look like on top of an existing movie if you export it that way. All right, so let's go ahead and recreate this. So the first thing that we wanna do is create this white box. So let's hit the plus sign. Choose overlay title. We're going to make sure that is on the main timeline and we are going to make that 10 seconds. Let's zoom in on it a little bit. Double tap that and we are going to throw the text away. Hit the plus symbol and we're going to choose shape and we're going to keep that white rectangle and just expand out the scale until it covers the entire screen. That is going to be our first layer. Let's go ahead and hit the plus sign again, overlay title again, bring that all the way to the beginning and same thing here, we're gonna stretch this out for the 10 seconds. Now what we're going to do is bring in that sweeping gray box. So let's go ahead and double tap on this. Once again, throwing away the text, plus sign, shape, and this time we are going to make this black this time we're going to draw down the opacity to about 22. That looks good. So let's go ahead and resize it on the X scale and on the Y scale till it's the size that you think you're going to want it. I think that looks good. Now I'm going to put it where I'm eventually going to have it on the screen. Bear in mind, if you put those black borders on your videos, you're going to want to move that up so it's out of the way of the black borders, but I... I never really do that, so I'm always just going to leave it right there. That looks good. Now let's go to frame and fit. Make sure we're all the way at the very beginning and make sure that you're in size and position. And the first thing that we want to do is sweep this off the screen. So let's go ahead and sweep it off and drop a keyframe right there. And we are going to advance this about 20 frames or 21 that looks good and now we are going to return that to its original position right there so easy peasy we've built the very first thing now what we're going to do is add the picture so find a picture of yourself a little snapshot here's my snapshot drop that on the timeline we're gonna go ahead and expand that out too. double tap on the picture and what we're going to do is resize this now so we've got a Make the size very, very small, right about there. Let's go to cropping. 
And now we're going to crop in from the bottom because what we want to do is make sure it's small enough that it fits within this gray rectangle here. And now what we want to do to make this a perfect circle, we're going to take this corner radius and pull it all the way as far as it can go to 100%. Now let's go back to size and position. And we're going to move this. Let's see if it's big enough right here. Now we're just going to make the size a little smaller and put it exactly where you're going to want it to expand when it's done blowing up to the full size. So I think that looks good right about there. And what we're going to do is just note the size. So it's about a 9.2 right there. Let's go all the way to the very beginning. And what we're going to do is pull this down to zero and drop our first keyframe right there. And we are going to advance this to about, I guess, 11 frames. So at 10 frames, we are going to drop another keyframe to keep it zeroed out. Let's advance it six frames, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to pull it up to, I think it was a nine, two. And now we're going to advance it two frames and we're gonna pull it back down to about that size. We're gonna advance it two frames and pull it back up to the nine. This way it just doesn't expand to its full size. It's more of like a grows and bounces type of thing. Let's go ahead and watch it. Perfect. Now is where the text is going to come sweeping in. So let's go ahead and hit the plus sign again. Choose overlay title. We can expand that out just a little bit more. Double tap it and go here to edit the text. Use caps and I am just going to write my name out. Hit the keyboard down. Pick the font that you want to use. Make it the size that you want it to be. Make sure that it's centered completely and that it's not overlapping your picture at all. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to go back. Let's make it easy. Let's just duplicate this. So hit the plus sign and we are just going to drag that right on top. Double tap that and let's edit it once again by hitting the chalkboard and the pencil. Cap lock and I'm going to hit, I think I just put YouTube creator before. Keyboard down and I am going to switch the font for this. I am just going to make it medium so that is not going to be italicized. And I'm just going to use the sliders. I'm just going to pull this down um, on the, the Y. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. And the reason that I did it that way is because I wanted to center it perfectly. Okay, that looks good. And now I'm just going to make it a little smaller. Okay, I think that looks good. And we just want to make sure that the bottom is centered and that the top is centered. So let's go to frame and fit and see how that looks. Okay, I think that looks good. So let's double tap on my name, the bottom one. And what we're going to do is make sure we're all the way to the very beginning. Now we're going to go to cropping. And this is going to slide in from the right. So we are going to pull this out. So pull the right side all the way until the name is completely gone and drop your first keyframe there. And we are going to advance this, um, I, I would say about seven frames and let's go ahead and sweep that out until it reveals the whole name. That's good right there. Now hit the side button. Let's go to the top one and let's go to cropping. Let's leave it at this exact time right here. Now this one is going to come in from the left. So we're going to pull it in from the left and drop our first keyframe there. Same thing, sweep it out for six frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull the left side back out. Let's go ahead and see how this looks so far. Okay, that looks good. Now we're gonna go back, double tap on the bottom line and all the name is going to do is basically fade out. So we are going to go to blending. And how long is this? Four seconds. Okay, so let's go to three seconds, drop a keyframe, go to the end and zero this out. We're gonna go back to the top one and do exactly the same thing. Go to blending, drop a keyframe, zero that out, go up to three seconds, bring it back up to 100 and hit play. How does that look? Perfect. The last two components are going to be the word subscribe and a little red rectangle that pops up. So let's go ahead and create that red rectangle. Hit the plus sign, choose overlay title. I'm going to bring that down right here. 
Double tap on that, throw away the text. So go to text, throw that away, hit the plus sign, choose shape, choose the face color of red, go down and let's scale this down. Once again, bring it over to the box to see where our jumping off point is going to be. Make sure that you just get it centered nice. I think that looks good right there. So what we're going to do is, um, well, the first thing that we're going to do is add the word subscribe. So let's go ahead and hit the overlay title again. We'll double tap on that, edit the text, cap locks, subscribe. We'll use the Arial font for this regular and just make it, make sure it's perfectly centered in there. Now that red box is actually going to be a little bigger. So just make sure that the words fit in just so. Okay, that looks good. And make sure that you remove, you don't want any shadow here. So we are going to get rid of the opacity of the shadow, getting rid of it totally. The edge color, maybe should we bump that up to a one? Go to frame and fit, go to blending, and we are going to drop this down to zero, drop our first keyframe. And let's advance it about eight frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are going to expand that out to 100. Okay, so what we wanna do is go ahead and edit that red rectangle. So let's double tap that and make sure we are in frame and fit. And let's go all the way to the very, very beginning. And we are just going to make this a touch smaller. Let's bring it down to, let's say, let's say about 82 and we're going to line it up right there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but let's go ahead and drop our first keyframe right there. So once we have this smaller position here, let's go ahead and advance three frames. I'm gonna make it a 100%, but a little larger, so let's make it about 109%. Once again, we're gonna line it up just so to be, that looks good right there. Now let's advance two frames. And what we're going to do is shrink this back down to about the low 90s. Right about there is good. And we are going to once again, center that with the subscribe, advance it again, another two frames. And we are going to, again, put this up to about 100% plus some, just a little over 100%. And now we're just going to line it up there. Okay, now let's get the motion part done. So we are going to go to color and effects, what looks like the water drop, and we are going to choose motion 40. Okay, so let's go all the way back to the very beginning and we're going to zero it out right there and drop our first keyframe. So what we're going to do, advance two frames and drop your second keyframe. So it's going to leave it zeroed out there, advance one frame, and now we are going to pull this up to 20, or right around 20, that looks good. Advance it, another keyframe, and now we're going to pull this up to, to 40, advance it two frames, and now we are going to pull this down uh, to like the mid-teens, that looks good. Advance it, another frame, pull it down to zero, advance it another frame, seven, eight, eight. At the eighth frame, let's go ahead and bounce it back up to the mid teens, advance it the ninth frame, bounce it back down to about lower than that. Let's go ahead, advance it to 10 frames. And now we're going to zero it out completely. So let's go ahead and just take a peek at what it looks like. Okay, that looks good. So what we're gonna do here, I cut everything nice and even. We're just gonna have this sweep off the screen just like in this one. So let's go ahead, see how that just finishes up. That just sweeps off the screen. So that's what we're going to do from here. So let's start with the, uh, the gray rectangle. Let's go to the frame and fit position, go all the way to the end. And what we're gonna do is one, two, three, four, five, six, 
drop a keyframe, and now what we're going to do is go all the way to the end, and we are going to move this off with the with the X position, just moving it right off the screen. There we go. Same thing with the picture. We are going to go all the way to the very end and advance back one, two, three, four, five, six keyframes. And we're going to drop another keyframe to lock the picture there and then go all the way. Well, let's advance it one frame because we want to make sure that we're keeping up with the box here. I guess that's good. That locks it off. Okay. Now what we want to do is sweep off the subscribe. Same thing here. Let's go all the way to the very end. Drop a keyframe, advance a frame, and remember we're just going to match it the way it is, following that gray box out. Advance another frame, just following it all the way out, little by little. We want it perfect. Advance another frame, and boom, you're done. So the last thing to do is the text subscribe. So let's go ahead, go all the way to the end, uh, which we are. Go back six frames, one, two, three, four, five, six. Drop our first keyframe there, advance a frame, and now same thing with the X factor, we're just going to follow the red box. Advance a frame, keeping it centered in that red box. Advance another frame, moving it with the red box. Advance another frame, and there you go. And let's have a final little look-see, shall we? Okay, perfect. Okay, so what I want to do, again, I'm going to bring down that little cutesy video of Marvin and show you what this looks like minus the white face. So we're just going to drag this over here. Remember, we keep everything cut nicely. This way it's easy, so easy to move. Takes two seconds. And there it's going to be. And when you have it like this, don't forget, you can always change the opacity of the face color too. Right now it's down to a 22. You can make it a little darker if you want. So it's still transparent. So it's still a little darker, but not totally transparent. All right, well, this is the end of part one. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you've made it this far, I'm going to share it with you that past all of my affiliate links, I'm going to leave a link for this project in my Google Drive. This way you can download it and have it for yourself. All you have to do is edit the text and the picture and you have your lower thirds just like mine. Part two, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to export this as its own little finished film. Let's say you forget to start your video with the asset in front and you want this on top of your video. I'm going to show you how to export it and re-import it so that it looks awesome. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it here for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, wear your sunblock and your mask.